you yeah. didn't have the resources either yeah. i've seen uh, how with meager resources you've done i mean the i went to a water salination point and uh, it was amazing and uh, now you you're taking it a step forward i believe the salinated water is going to be put into the sea of galilee right? you yeah. you could could you explain about how this water yeah. revolution because that could be a solution to india's water woes i will also take a little bit a step back you know when we started we we have been an agriculture country manufacturing country like india so our biggest known export was jaffa oranges we had mm. the citrus that we used to export and in a certain stage we stopped exporting it not because we didn't need the money god forbid we always need, needed yeah. the money israel was a very poor country to start with but when we we were absorbing a lot of immigrants so money was needed but we understood that we are um, uh, exporting our assets our assets are water we don't have enough water the difference between our country and many other countries in the world that we have a we pay a high price for the water water is not free and it's quite expensive so we understand that there is value for water places where you don't pay for water you don't understand the value and you would not invest in infrastructure in order to make it better right. yes. so it's uh, also a cultural thing uh, i've i've noticed many people uh, in india you know farmers who think that since they own this land uh, getting water from as low as you can get you can keep digging it's yours. It's, it's, it's yours it's yours so the air the water and the the soil should not be taxed should not be challenged because it's yours so we we do tax and we do challenge and that makes us more efficient because we understand that it's okay it's costly how do we save money it started with drip irrigation in the 50s when we were in agriculture so we invented the drip irrigation which saved a lot of water and also helped the plants because the plants didn't get too much water and not to to less so mm. they got the, the exact amount but then we started doing reuse of water mm. we reuse our water mm. almost 90% of our water are reused for agriculture level so we don't bring it back to drinking level because it's not economically wise we bring it up to the level of agriculture the next country after us i think is like spain 20 something under 30% so we are at 90 uh, almost 90 and the other country after us is in 30 so we reuse a lot of the water because it's a very economic way to save water and we do desalinization which is not an israeli invented technology but it was industrialized or put into big magnitude in israel and we have also next to chennai the biggest uh, desalinization uh, factory in india also mm. by an israeli company and today the idea of water is not anymore it, when we did the oslo accords in the early 90s one of the elements that we had to discuss in the final status agreement was the water issue because there is scarcity how do we divide the water today there is no scarcity so we don't have more rain but we have more desalinization more reuse of water more smart uh, agriculture are middle east countries asking for this technology from you because uh, they are facing a crisis too yeah of course uh, we are we are first of all we are giving more water to jordan we mm -hmm. in the peace accords with jordan we committed ourselves to a certain amount okay. we are giving them more because mm -hmm. we have from desalinization we do want to retrieve water into the into the sea of galilee, galilee. to the kinneret mm -hmm. uh, we do we did even before we had relations more so now with the gulf countries that we help the salinization there are the salinization factories that were based on israeli technology the company at the time was not israeli per se but the owners okay. yeah so we found ways of okay. how to to do business also when we didn't have full diplomatic relations and we are also doing in india by the way because uh, the only place in the world where we have a water attache is in delhi in our embassy it's based on the agreement between the two prime ministers on the bundelkhand the up we are doing a holistic planning of a region in bundelkhand in israeli companies doing it it meaning what are the resources how we utilize them to the maximum what kind of agriculture would go with it etc etc mm -hmm. harvesting of water whatever is the play in every place you have your ups and downs what are the advantages and disadvantages so we are doing it and we are planning there are, we are, uh, israeli in companies other israeli companies are working and again not in the work itself we do the planning and the technology that can be utilized but usually the real work is done by indian companies <laughs>